lack of education we don't know what to do where to go what to what our need is probably uh, the organization of the social security system is the need to have an appropriate health systems which are functioning to meet the needs of the people who need it most in the remote and rural areas. For trans people, the biggest barrier to access is actually the receptionist who looks at our passport and says, this person cannot be misisolated. The significant barrier to access to services uh, to my country, Zimbabwe, is actually transport. Transport to the health, the health facilities. Right. Look, in Asia, no one knows what gender is, and people don't talk about it much. Yeah, that is the barrier. For me, the access uh, for the uh, as a patient is a treatment, and currently, free trade agreement between EU. EFTA and all other these big, big uh, developed countries which is going to do with uh, all countries is the big barrier for my, my treatment, my access treatment. I feel that the most significant barrier to access to treatment many a times at community level is stigma and discrimination. And most importantly also the aspect of people not having information on what kind of services are available at the facility. And we have seen access means services, ARVs, uh, treatment in general from Mareda TV, that's access. It, it, it's, not, it's not just giving uh, drugs, it's giving everything. That's what I'm, I, I'm, I'm a little put it. Accountability uh, means that uh, the uh, you know, whole approach is responsive to the community. Uh, so I think there is a, a, a mechanism lacking in global fund process. Clear accountability to me means clear transparency. Clear transparency between the community and the global fund. And global fund should en ensure that there should be proper uh, mechanism that information flows down to the community and community knows that there is a program, global fund as such for them. Para mi rendición de cuentas es primero eh, poder demostrar la transparencia de, de los procesos, sobre todo en el Fondo Global, de que todo el mundo esté eh, consciente de cómo se están asignando los recursos. It means that uh, you have to be responsible to the community that you serve. Uh, accountability means uh, leadership and governance and organization. So if this is in place, we can uh, achieve our, uh, our goals. La rendición de cuentas también tiene que ver cómo los recursos benefician a las poblaciones que realmente lo necesitan. For me, accountability means getting the resources, the right people at the right time. Because how do we want to think about focusing on results when we don't seem to be accountable? And therefore, if people who need the services on the ground are not benefiting from them, then we are not being accountable. But to me, it's spending the money right. Uh, we, we talk of corruption, you talk of other issues, but if the money is being spent right, and really we serve the people, that's what is called accountability. to highlight the needs of the disadvantaged, poor and gender discriminated people, whether they are transgender or gays or others. Ensure equity and coverage for all. Again, if there is transparency, people will come and tell what is going wrong. And I'm sure these things will definitely help Global Fund and everybody to maintain the human rights of people. The Global Fund can take a much stronger role in advocacy around free trade agreements, ensuring that we keep the cost of medicines down and available to all. In terms of protecting human rights, is let's empower people to know their rights.
most importantly, I feel so bad that MDR-TB patients continue to be put in isolation facilities. And uh, what, they have do, what they have done to address it, so Global Fund has to reflect in them and then be very strong uh, getting across the message that uh, the recipient countries that uh, criminalization of uh, marks no longer tolerated. Não somos o futuro das nações, somos o presente. Nada sem nós, tudo com nós.